So part of God's story is about the first time people stopped trusting God. It's called the fall, because it's all about how we fell away from God. It begins like this. When God was done creating a perfect world, the first two humans, Adam and Eve, got to live as a family in a beautiful place called the Garden of Eden. They explored wherever they wanted and took walks with God. And God took care of them like a loving father. The Garden of Eden was a perfect home. In fact, Adam and Eve were so free, they didn't even wear clothes. God wanted everybody to be this free, with no shame or embarrassment. Imagine no death, no secrets, no fighting, no fear, no pain, no loneliness, no anger, no bullies, no sadness, no hunger, no getting left out, no crying, nothing bad, ever. This is God's dream for all of us. But part of being free means we get choices. And the first bad choice happened in the Garden of Eden. See, God gave Adam and Eve one rule. Do not eat fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. God knew if Adam and Eve ate this fruit, they would think they knew everything good and didn't need God anymore. They would stop asking God to take care of them. And they would know about evil, which means they would hurt each other. Sickness would come. They would get old and eventually die. God didn't want any of that to happen, so he told them not to eat the fruit. Now, you might be wondering why God would even make a tree like that in the first place. Why give Adam and Eve a chance to know how to ruin the perfect world? But remember how being free means we get to make choices? God wants us to choose to obey because we love him, not because we have to. And for a while, Adam and Eve chose to trust God and obey him. After all, it was perfect in the garden. But one day, an evil serpent decided he wanted to separate Adam and Eve from God. So he came up with a plan to make Eve think God didn't love her. He said, does God really love you? If he does, why won't he let you eat this juicy, delicious fruit? Eve told the serpent what God had told Adam. If they ate the fruit, they would die. The snake told Eve that God was lying. The fruit would only make her smart. Being smart sounded great. So Eve bit into the fruit. It tasted so good, she gave some to Adam. He ate it too. Well, they didn't drop dead on the spot, but things started to change. First, they realized they were naked and felt embarrassed. Before eating the fruit, they only felt happy. Then they heard God coming and ran away. They had never run away from God before. God knew what happened, but he still asked Adam, did you eat the fruit I asked you not to eat? Adam said, Eve made me do it. Eve didn't like being blamed. She said, the serpent made me do it. Really, they had both made a choice to disobey God. God was so sad they chose not to trust him. They had to move away from the beautiful garden. Worse, pain and sadness and death came into the world. It was no longer perfect. This could have been a horrible end to a really sad story. But guess what? It's not. God loved Adam and Eve, and us, so much that he planned a great rescue. Many years later, a rescuer would take the punishment for every bad choice ever made. And because of this rescue, God would one day make the world a perfect home for us again. And that's the story of the fall. So in case you missed it, here's a quick version. God made a perfect world. There was one rule. The serpent tricked Eve. He made her doubt God's love. So Eve broke the rule. Adam broke it too. All the wrong things in the world started. But that's not the end. God really did love them. And all of us. So he began a great rescue plan. And that's a part of God's story.